Shalom to the whole full elect of the nation of Israel, giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rakhah Kudash, the honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that root well, and peace, blessings, and salutations and to the whole full elect, brothers that's fighting and pushing throughout the four corners of the earth, all right, risking their life for freedom to do so, and now more than ever. I'm the brother Yohanathan, coming from the Great Millstone West Palm Camp, and Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. All right, and you know I was speaking. You know we had the, um, you know the Akim Sequan uh in town. All right, and you know it was really our pa, but the brothers was breaking bread and, and, and fellowshipping. You know brothers was going into like a the restoration. You know how you have Bashmal Shah. You know with his men is. A requiring for you know requiring us you know with the duty you know he's giving us responsibilities okay because you know as the 144 is the governing body you know the Lord is requiring us to step up to responsibilities man you know as of before you know because they when this wicked kingdom Babylon the great which is America is uh, destroyed. The scripture speaks about a new heavens and a new earth in the book of Second Peter, the third chapter. All right, the, the, the word new mean is going to the Greek word kainos, all right, and it's going to a refresh. Okay, and again, it says, A hey, that dwell of nothing but righteousness. All right, and the world is going to be uh, governed, and the world is, you know, with the men, hey, but it's going to be governed with uh, the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashmal Shah. All right, which is the, uh, righteousness, okay? So now hey, the Lord is requiring us, you know, hey, to, to, to get back on our lot, okay? And I want to start with Isaiah, the first chapter, starting at verse 26. And I and I will restore thy judges as at the first, okay? And this is what, uh, you know, we're going to be. That's what it says in uh, Matthew, the 19th chapter. You know, you will judge the 12. You will sit on thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay. And I'm going to read it again. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 26. And I will restore thy judges as at the first and thy counselors as at the beginning. Afterward, thou shalt be called the city of righteousness, the faithful city. You see, the city of righteousness, the faithful city. Okay, so that's what Yahweh Bashmal Shah is doing right now. And he's restoring the, thy judges. Okay, and, and, and how do we know how to judge? All right, and we know how to judge with the scriptures. And then, um, you know, in the kingdom of heaven, it's going to be in our inward. Okay, and this is what we once knew at a point in time, but through Babylon the Great, you know, going into captivity, you know, being in these bodies, this is something that we once forgot. And that's why it says, and I'm going to get in the book of Jude, um, Jude chapter 1. Jude chapter 1, verse 5, and it reads, and I will put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this. You see, so the Lord is putting us in remembrance of who we actually are. Okay, we are, you know, Yasharala, you know, Israel, and we're, you know, and we're a holy people. Okay, it, it speaks about that in the book of Peter as well, uh, us being a peculiar people. Hey, but we have uh, 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 traditions, we have customs, you know, and when we follow those tradition and customs, hey, things go right. That's why it says in the book of Joshua, uh, Joshua 1 and 8. I'm going to grab it right quick. Okay, because this world teaches everything that's contrary. All right, and this is why. We know Esau is in rulership, but this is why we know that this uh, current rulership is going under because um, Esau is not fit to rule. Not not only that, but he runs this world in wickedness, man. OK, but Joshua chapter one, verse eight, and it reads this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. And this is speaking about the Bible, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that there is written. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success, you see? So, hey, this is the book of the law, the Bible, okay? This is where you get the ways of righteousness, man. This is where you get how to handle. This is where you get how to deal with uh, 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 situations out of the scriptures, man, 
All right, and the Lord is requiring us to be judges because in the kingdom to come, Lord willing, we'll be a part of a Yahweh Bashem al Shah's elect, glorious elect, man, that we're going to have to be governing the world to come, okay? So uh, back to Jude chapter 1, verse 5, it says, I therefore will put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this, how that the Lord saving the people out of the land of Egypt afterward destroyed them that believe not. All right. And I want to get the next precept is in the book of Second Peter. Okay. Second Peter chapter. Second Peter chapter three, verse one, this second epistle beloved, I now write unto you and both which I stir up your pure minds by remembrance. You see. Uh, stir up your pure minds by the way remembrance man all right because like it says hey though you once knew this this is something in our uh, uh foretime we knew okay but again going through you know uh captivity going through you know esau bringing us low which was that a hey, the heavenly father all right hey this is something that we once forgot but now hey, we're coming back into our lot man we're coming back into the ways of righteousness man a hey, righteousness is coming back upon the planet Earth. And this is something that, you know, this is something that Jake, even though, you know, he's being rebellious to her, But this is something that he wants, man, because a hey, when righteousness is in the planet Earth, when the ways of your how about Shah are being pushed, hey, the, wor the, 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 the world is going to hey, it's going to run smoothly. That's why it says in the book of Proverbs. Um, let me see if I can grab it. Um. Uh, it's the book of Proverbs, chapter 29, verse 2. It says, that when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, you see. And the pe they are people, you know, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the children of Israel. A, and the kingdom of heaven is going to be a, like a, a, the kingdom of heaven. It's going to be rejoicing, you know. But, it's, uh, but it says, when the people, but when the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn, you see. So in this hell, all right, this condition, you know. Our people are mourning, spiritually mourning, because the wicked, Esau, Edom, okay, they are ruling, and they're not ruling with the ways of Yahweh Bashem al Shah. Are right, they doing everything contrary? But again, it says when the righteous are on authority, the people rejoice. All right, so this is why we know that we can't wait hey, to that one that is uh, 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 profitable. You know, it says in the book of Sirach or Ecclesiastes, the tenth chapter. Okay. The 10th chapter, starting at the top, it says a wise judge will instruct his people and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. You know, um, let's see. Let's see. Um, let me keep reading. Slock in verse two as the judge of the people is himself. So are his officers and what manner of man and what manner of man the ruler of the city is. Such are they that dwell therein. An unwise king destroyed his people, but through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. So an unwise king destroyed the people. Why? Because, again, let's read it again. Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2. When the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. Okay? So an unwise king, because he's not a righteous judge or ruler, he's going to destroy the people. Verse 4. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, and in due time he will set over it one that is profitable, you know. And hey, this is starting with Yahweh Shah, right, but in due time he's going to set hey, Yahweh Shah under Yahweh Shah. He's going to set his men are right, to rule over the earth, okay, in righteousness, okay. And let's jump down to, um, let's jump down to verse 8. And it says, because of unrighteous dealing, injuries, and the riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. Because of unrighteous dealing, injuries, riches, riches got by deceit, the kingdom is going to be translated from one people to another. Okay? And this is going to happen. Yeah, that's why it says Esau is the end of the world. Second Ezra is the sixth chapter. Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, man. All right, because the kingdom is going to be translated. Okay, Esau is in control. You know, Esau is has dominion right now, but it's going to be translated. All right, to the nation of Israel, starting with our Lord Yahweh Shah. 
All right, so the Lord is putting us back in remembrance uh, to, once, to, to who we once were, okay? Because, <laughs> again, Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is, is the beginning of it that followeth, man. The 144,000, the elect, all right, is the, govern, the governing body, all right? And how are we going to rule the nations? We're going to rule the nations not only with the rod of iron, but with a, the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashem al Shah, all right? And let's get uh, let's get the book of Titus. Titus chapter one verse fifteen, and it says, "Unto the pure, all things are pure, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure, even their mind and their conscience and it, it, it is defiled." All right, it says, "Unto the pure, all things are pure, all right, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving, nothing is pure." And um. I'm trying to see if this is the one that I wanted, all right? But, hey, the pure is starting with the elect of the nation of Israel, man. So, again, we have to start thinking upon the things which are right, you know, especially in in this wicked society, in this wicked world, man, you know? Um, and let me finish off with the book of Baruch because I didn't want to make this lesson too long, but I still just wanted to grab this. Hey, Lord willing, it's edifying, all right? This is the book of Baruch, chapter 2, uh, starting at verse uh, 30, and it reads, For I knew that they would not hear me, because it, because it is a stiff-necked people, speaking about our people, you Israelites, but in the land of their captivities, all right, they shall remember themselves, okay? You see, so in the land of our captivity, we're still being held captive until this day. It says that, hey, we shall remember ourselves, man. Remember who we are. All right, we're princes, you know, hey, soon to be Lord willing kings, okay? And we have to, hey, we have to, there's a, there's a certain standard, all right? That's why it says right now in the book of Colossians, and let me grab it. It says to put therefore as on the elect, roughly paraphrasing, man. All right, um, Colossians chapter 3, verse 12. The Put on, therefore, as the elect of God at Salaki. Uh, put on, therefore, as the elect of Yahweh Basham al Okay? So, put in, therefore, as the elect because, hey, this is what hey, we're striving to be, Lord willing, we be a part of the number. All right? So, there's a standard, and that standard is going to be set, man. All right? So, I just wanted to bring out that lesson, okay, that, uh, you know, starting with the book of Isaiah, the first chapter. That the Lord is restoring us, man, as judges, because that's exactly what we're going to be. And, and this is something that's not just going to happen one day. No, this is a happens now. All right. And this is a coming back into the scriptures, coming back into the most high, coming back into the a ways of righteousness, the ways of life, man. So, Lord, when this list was edifying, I want to give all praises, glory and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakwadash, the bonus of the apostles and elders. A great meal, on every well. Peace and blessing unto the elect. All right. And um, hey, salutations to you brothers that's fighting and pushing. All right. So next time, I'm going to hey, the next time.